Today we will demonstrate how to configure a Watson Mark II with E3 option or ETNet module to work with the Elcor Cloud platform. This tutorial assumes that the meter is wired properly and that Ethernet is connected to the meter or Ethernet module. It also assumes that the Watson meter or Ethernet module has access to the internet. We must first begin by locating the device on the network. If the IP address of the device is known, you can navigate to it using your browser. Alternatively, we can find the device using the Elcor Finder software available on Elcor's website. Launch the Finder software and find the device on the network. If there are multiple devices, pay attention to the MAC address displayed in the menu and confirm that it matches the device you wish to configure. Click the right mouse button to bring up a menu to either copy the IP address to the clipboard or open a browser window and navigate to the device directly from the menu. Opening the ETNet browser page will show the device statistics and configuration. The interface for the ETNet and Watson Mark II with E3 option is the same. Confirm that the serial number of the meter matches that of the device you wish to configure. To enable posting to Elcor's device cloud, click the web posting button. When prompted for a username and password, use admin and admin for both. This will open the web posting configuration menu. By default, posting is disabled. To change the web posting options, click on the change button to open the posting configuration settings. You can use the pre-configured profiles to select Elcor Cloud from the list. You'll be prompted to confirm that you want the settings to be changed. This process automatically fills the form to enable posting, change the posting to every one minute, which is the maximum frequency for the Elcor Cloud, and enters the proper URL to post to. Ensure that the Submit button is pressed to apply the changes. After a few moments, the settings should be visible at the top of the page. The status of the last post is visible on the right side of the menu, including the timestamp of the last attempt and the result. It is possible to test the configuration using the Post Now button to immediately send a post. The device also displays the server's response to the last post. In this case, the Elcor Cloud server echoes the post data with a success message in front. The server response is useful in diagnosing connectivity problems or if there are issues with the post configuration. From this screen, we can also directly add this device to an existing cloud account or create a new cloud account if necessary. To create a new account, simply fill out the form and click Submit. You will receive an email asking to confirm the account. Use the link in the email to activate the account. Once your Elcor Cloud account has been created and activated, you can add the device from the menu here. By clicking the link, it will take you to your cloud account and automatically pre-populate the MAC address of the device you wish to add. You can optionally add a name to the device here. The device will appear in the list. At this point, you can click the device and see the various parameters. This includes power, energy, real-time energy for today, this month, and all time, as well as real-time power and real-time current and voltage. The power, voltage, and current graphs are circular graphs with each section depicting each phase. In this case, the system is monitoring split phase configuration, and so there are only two sections. The energy graphs show segmented energy usage. Total energy for each period is depicted by the total height of the bar, and each bar also shows the energy contribution of each phase. Hovering over the bar will show the time duration as well as the energy data. The power graphs show each phase as a separate line. The total can be shown 
by clicking on the total icon and double clicking it will show only the total. Each face can also be added and removed from the graph. The power and energy graph timescales can easily be changed. By default, their timescales are linked. However, this can be disabled using this link button. The timescales may be changed through the drop-down, including presets showing the, showing the last 24 hours, last 7 days, last 30 days, or a custom date and time range. Depending on the time scale, the frequency of the data points and the resolution of the energy accumulation will change. It is referenced at the bottom of each graph. With any of the time scales selected, the visible data may be exported to either a CSV or Excel file, both for the energy and the power graphs. Multiple devices may be added to a single cloud account, and groups of devices may be configured. With multiple devices, it is possible to see the information and data aggregated over several devices. Thank you for watching this video tutorial on how to configure devices for use with Elcor Device Cloud. If you have any other questions, please visit us online at www.elcor.net.